hello guys and welcome in this new video in the game engine series hope you guys are doing good in the previous video we spoke about the mesh component and the video before the last one was about the transform component in today's video we're going to be talking about the camera component how i managed to create my camera attach it to an entity and stuff like that so I just want to mention some couple of things before we move uh, forward in this video. You guys can get the source code of this game engine. You can actually get my private GitHub on Patreon by becoming a patron. So if you guys are interested in that, you uh, you can check the link in the description below to see anything on my Patreon page. But you can still contact me. I think I provide an email down there. You can still contact me if you have uh, something to share or anything like that. So that's basically the idea so let's get started okay here is my camera component and as you can see uh, we don't have that much inside uh, we basically have in here some member variable in this structure which are the near and the far plane these two variables actually define the clipping space so to say and we have the field the field of view which is basically the angle of view of the camera and up here I have some constant for the up, right, front, world up. I mean, those are some constant for the camera. So that's why I just have them here. The up is nothing but just um, the Y direction of our coordinate system. Right is nothing but just, you know, the X direction and front and stuff like that. So it's basically what you already know. And down here I have some important uh, function that I've created. I have a function to return a view matrix. Another one to return a projection matrix, another one to return an orthographic matrix. This is because um, I I just I really want to get this directly from my camera because I don't want to have another function to do this kind of thing for me. Since my camera already have all information I, I need, so I can basically um, you know create all of these inside of my camera. That's why I just need to pass the size. Of the perspective that I want to have so the size of the size of the screen for example and this guy will create a perspective for me uh, and return it and I'll basically be able to actually use that send that to the shader and use that to draw things on the screen the same thing is done with the orthographic matrix and as I said in the previous video about the transform component GLM actually has all of that so we don't need to kind of go out and try to implement anything and make any calculation we just have to use the built-in function perspective and orthographic and the look at function for the view matrix and as you can see here i'm basically using the rotation because for creating my view matrix i want to pass the position and the rotation of the camera now some of some of you might say why don't you store the position and the rotation of the camera inside the camera component well the idea is because i know this camera is going to be attached to an entity and since an entity must have you know a transform somehow they always have a transform component and we know that the transform component already has the, the rotation and the position that's why i know this camera is always going to be on an entity and that entity will have a transform and that's why i can actually pass that instead of having to store another variable here for the position so that's why i don't want to store my position in here now i know this is not um, a concept of camera uh, that you quite familiar with because uh, the camera in OpenGL and stuff are often uh, based on the the Euler I mean the Euler system and things like that with yaw pitch and you know roll and all of that I have another version of that I'm actually thinking about to kind of mix both with what I have right here but I'm still working on that and I want to show you now the camera system which is in charge of you know targeting all entities with this component and update their value or you know do whatever it has to do so i want to go to my systems and open camera system and as you can see my camera system will target all entity with a transform and a camera component so if you have these components then this guy is going to be taking that and make sure he updates anything that is to update and uh, i just have this here because i wanted to rotate my scene as you have been seeing in the beginning of this video so this was just to rotate my scene because yeah just wanted to have something running on 
just testing and um see i have some shaders i'm gonna be talking about the skybox later that's why uh, i've separated the skybox from other shaders because the skybox is a little bit different when you send the projection metrics to the skybox shader for example you cannot send the the translation part of the of the camera the position things like that because the skybox is not influenced by the position of the camera somehow i mean in a sense that you cannot translate the skybox the skybox is only static you can only rotate your camera and see the skybox but you cannot translate it that's why i have this separate here but basically as you can see here i just come here and get my camera in my transform component and i'm just rotating as i said just setting the value of the y-axis that's why my scene is just rotating so don't mind this and as you can see i'm gonna bind my skybox shader so and uh, i can simply send the projection matrix and the view matrix with my shader just getting it from the camera so camera view matrix and i will pass you see for the skybox i just pass zero because as i said the skybox doesn't need any translate doesn't need the position of the camera so that's why i can send the rotation also because i want to be able to actually rotate and see my skybox around that's why i send the rotation here and down here for the rest of the shaders you can see i have a lot of shaders i have the mesh the model outline whatever and here i can simply do the same thing and this time i'm also sending the position of the camera because um to be able to uh, have lighting on my scenes and things like that i need to know the position the position of the camera to be able to calculate some uh, direction of light and stuff like that so that's why i can simply send my projection matrix i can show you just a brief uh, view of the shadow code i mean that's something i don't want to get into right now you can see i have my uniforms here the view the model and the projection the transform already has the model if you remember from the video before the last one the transform component has the, the model matrix and i'm also sending that somehow i don't know if i'm sending that in the camera system here no i'm not because i don't need a model for the camera so that's why i'm not sending uh where is that code i did close it let me open it again and so i just send my projection and my view matrix and i can use that down down here to create the stuff we're going to be talking about this shader stuff later so my focus in this video is on the camera component and the camera system and that's basically how i can create a component i can create a camera component attach it to an entity and actually you know uh, render my scene so if i open this this will basically open my scene with my camera that i have here so this is basically the camera i have here and if i go and remove this um you see the camera is not there anymore this just stays here because it was there and you know if i add a camera again so i'm gonna add an entity I'm gonna call it main main camera and I want to make sure I add a camera component to it here you see just reset the position because the position of the camera is zero zero I can actually set the position here and move it back a little bit to see the scene and so it just recognize the camera and start update it and that's basically the camera component so thank you guys for watching and um, I know uh, there is a lot of way of you know dealing with this kind of thing while writing code if you guys have a better idea or if you guys get inspired by what i've been showing here let me know that's really encouraging to know what i'm doing is actually helping others because that's my purpose and as i said you guys can go on my patreon page and get this version of the game engine i have a private github repository for that you guys will be able to access that and anyway.